Hey, welcome to The Gurge. Really excited to bring you this content today. What I've been able to do is run the diesel heater off of a power bank. This is a Blue Eddy EB3A using the DC side of the power bank. So this is pretty exciting because the uh, previous times I did this, I ran through the inverter in the power bank through an AC to DC converter and then powered the diesel heater. I got about just over five hours of runtime that way. I have been able to start the heater on the DC side. It does make a, a strange noise when it gets close to pulling uh, just about 10 amps out of the power bank, but it, it holds on tight. Uh, and you'll see that when, when we run this. I did rig it up before and, and it, it ran. Um, the setup I have wasn't real pretty. And, and to be honest with you, I'm not crazy about this setup. I've got a 5521 plug coming and I'm going to um, to use that instead of the cigarette lighter out, output. I think this is a more stable output. And I was I had to actually use a splitter to get the um, cigarette lighter adapter set up. Anyway, uh, I'm going to follow the amps on this. I'll get this set up here. This is turned off because it was sitting so long. And I'm going to bring the camera in closer when we go through the startup process. So the startup process is really where we start consuming the most power and the most critical part of using a power bank. You need to be sure that you can furnish that current to the heater when it starts up. So let me move the camera and get this set, um, the amp meter set up. All right, sorry folks, slight delay there. I know you, I know you didn't see it, but uh, the camera battery uh, had died on me, so I had to recharge the camera. Uh, anyway, I, I added a little power to the Blue Eddy as well. So we're at 98%. Uh, I've got everything hooked up. I'm gonna turn on the heater and we'll We'll get rolling here. And let's get this turned on. So when the heater first starts up, that's when it uses the most power. You'll see the draw here go up to about eight or nine amps. Um, and you'll see just over a hundred watts of uh, power being used on the Blue Eddy on the DC side. This uh, also makes kind of a weird noise as it gets close to its capacity. I don't know if it's a fan kicking on or there's something going on inside of it, but it does make kind of a weird sound and hopefully we'll pick that up with the camera's microphone. So I'm just going to let this run. I've got the heater set at 4 hertz and uh, you'll see that uh, again it consumes the most power when it starts up. It also um, in the cool down briefly consumes about the same amount of power as the max in the startup, but it's for a much shorter duration. So that, that's the sound I'm talking about. We're pull, uh, using just over 100 watts, about eight and a half amps, and, and things are getting close to the edge here, but we, we don't quite go over. You can hear the fuel pump kicking on, the heater starting up, starting to blow some air through it. And that's about the max power draw that we see here. So what's really great is that once this gets going and gets into its run cycle, the power consumption is going to drop considerably. It drops to about half of what I was using when I was using the AC side and then using the uh, AC to DC converter, the power supply. So I'm really hopeful that I'll be able to get maybe close to 10 hours of runtime out of this using the DC side of the EB3A. Yeah, that's about the max we're going to pull, just over 10 amps, I don't, I don't know if that showed up, but uh, we're just over 10 amps of pull coming through this and the breaker didn't burn, there's no heat coming out of here, feels fine, um, and now we're going to come to come down to about 2.5 amps, and then again it's going to drop down 
uh, after the heater really gets into its run cycle. So you see we're, we're already pulling less power than we were when we were running on the AC side, if you watched that previous video. And this is gonna drop down to about 20 watts being consumed when it gets into its, its regular run cycle. Starting to get some nice heat coming out of the heater. So now we're going to kick down into its regular run cycle. I've got the heater set at 4 hertz and we're going to be pretty steady at about 20 watts being consumed. Um, almost two amps of current going through. So no, if you watch that previous video, you, you'd see that the Blue Eddy was estimating before that it was going to get about five or six hours of runtime. And now at its current rate, it's saying it's going to get about 10.8. I, I would go a little conservative on that and like really check it at nine hours uh, or 10 hours. I don't think it's going to go quite that long but who knows, maybe it will. Uh, also, the cool down cycle that the heater has to go through does consume some power, but now we're, we're into the regular run cycle and, and we're good to go here. So I'm, I'm really excited about using consuming less current, uh, consuming less power, and the fact that this can run this heater for about 10 hours is awesome. Um, say if you were camping and you had one of these, you could run this overnight easily off of one of these. So there you have it folks, the uh, Blue Eddy EV3A working off the DC side, consuming about half the power that it was using when it was running through the inverter and going through its, its conversion back to DC. Um, that of course isn't unexpected, I'm surprised it's using half the amount of power, but uh, there's going to be some waste converting the DC to AC and then back to DC and there you have it, it's about, about twice the amount of power that you needed to use. So that's uh, really encouraging. When I do my full test, I'm going to replace this plug uh, with a 5521 plug and come out of one of those plugs there. This is not the most stable connection, in my opinion, uh, the cigarette lighter outlet. But, uh, well, nice to know I can run it my old Dodge truck that has an actual cigarette lighter outlet. In it. Anyway. Uh, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll do a, a video later on the runtime of this um, when I have a chance to run it all day, when I'm working out here all day, and, and I'll need heat. So, um, again, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'm going to put links to the stuff that I'm using in here in this video in the uh, description. Those are Amazon affiliate links. Please subscribe. I'm trying to uh, build the channel up and get more content like this. Have a good one.